one that you received in. I know. Got a delivery for you. You don't know. You don't know how many. Uh, do you know by any chance how many you're dropping off? Uh, you know of? No. Nah, I just know it's a whole truck full of them. Okay. Go ahead and back in at seven then, and then we'll take care of it. When you're done at seven, just come back for your paperwork. Then. Seven. Seven. All right. Appreciate right. you, man. Hey, man. Thank you. Level up family, what's up? How y'all doing? So, we here at the delivery already. Our appointment, well, it wasn't no appointment time, but I looked it up and I see that, you know, they they opened up at six. So, I wanted to get here at six so I could be the first truck. And I got here probably about like six, 10, I got a little, a little bit lost, just a little lost. You know, they had another entrance that the GPS took me to, but they wasn't operating out of that side, and it, it's just crazy. But we got it figured out. We on the door right now, and they put it straight on the door. We getting unloaded, and yeah, we gonna hope that this don't take long. They actually just turned the light red, and I felt them shake the trailer, so looks like this one's gonna be another in and out but before we can get too far in this video I need you guys to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel please subscribe to it and ring that bell so that you can be notified whenever a new video is uploaded but let's get into this video now How you doing today? Fine, thanks for asking. What about you? Good, can't complain. Hey, I see you have a load picking up in Palmyra, PA, going to Hazleton, PA. Wanted to get some information on that. That's still available. Yes, so we need to pick up as soon as possible. It will be delivered straight through. Uh, it's about 25,000 pounds. So it's a very long fashion driver. And uh, every day, time. 800 okay is there a uh, appointment time for the delivery uh, it need to be uh, delivered today by 1 p.m. delivered by 1 p.m. okay perfect yeah. all right um is there any way we can get at least to 900 on this yeah it can be 9 hours for okay the best soon as possible yeah i'm i'm actually i think let me see I am like 15 minutes from Palmyra and I'm empty right now. Yeah. Okay, can I grab the number? All right, so I just booked the load. Um, it's only going 70 miles and he only wanted to pay eight, but I got him up to 900. So it's pretty cool. I just dropped the load. That load I just dropped was for 900. And I wanted to find a load that's straight through that I could drop so I can get paid on that too. So one load 900, drop this load 900, and we looking good today. Looking to be a good day. So let me hurry up and get this carrier packet filled out, and we are gonna go shoot over to this uh, pickup so we can get this load. All right, family. This the crazy part right here. So that load that I booked, once I got empty, by the way, the getting delivered, the load that I delivered, you know, that didn't take long at all. It probably took about 20 minutes. Um, I got that load booked. I get all the way to the pickup just to find out that they canceled the load. As soon as I pull up, that's when the broker calls me and asks me how far out was it. I'm like, I'm already here. He's like, okay, well, they just canceled the load great great so I had to try to find another load luckily I ended up finding another one right out of here and it's not going for the same it's not going for the the same price but 
it's going for 800 so that's probably that's that's cool um i could pick it up and picks up at 11 actually and it's only nine o'clock so i'm just going to shoot straight over there and it delivers right away so it's still good it's still a straight through load so a little rough but we still we still looking on point but is I still didn't get the rate con yet so I'm just gonna sit here until I get the rate con because I'm not trying to waste no more gas so I'm gonna wait till I actually get this rate con so I can shoot to the pickup but yeah this to the type of stuff you know you gotta deal with and when stuff like this happens normally they will send you uh, a T-O-N-U that's the truck ordered not used and everybody got different prices some people prices a hundred dollars some 150 some 200 this one was 150 so they sent me 150 dollars for you know wasting my time but it's cool because you know they you know they probably couldn't they probably didn't have to send it at all you know most places probably won't even send them but I think just because I asked for it that they gave it to me, but I asked for 200 but, you know, I'm just grateful for it that I did get some. I didn't get the 200 but I got something. So, not going to complain about that, but, so I'm just going to sit here and wait for me to get this Raycon, and once I get that Raycon, I'm going to put the address in the GPS and going to shoot straight over there. Hopefully we have some good luck with this load because it's not looking too good right now. But once I get to the new shipper, I cut y'all back on. It's on the left. Thirteen seventy one. Yes, Pottsville, yes. One four four six five four one seven. All right, hold on to that seal, slide the cans to the back, come right back here, let me get you to my door. Okay. okay. All right, so we here on the door. Uh, it's, it's a few trucks out here, so hopefully this be quick, a quick load. Uh, this yard, they required to have safety vests, so I bought the safety vest, you know, and I never been to a yard that needed a safety vest, so I always just had this in the closet back there, so now I finally get to put it on for once. I haven't got the, the name and the logo put on on it yet but that's going to happen soon but it's feel good to finally put it on you know but hopefully y'all still here with me in this video and if you haven't liked this video yet please smash that like button and also hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time a new video is uploaded one thing i want to leave with y'all you know when y'all get out here and y'all start running and y'all booking loads, you know, you're doing everything on your own. It's gonna be hard in the beginning because it's something new, something you haven't done before. So it's gonna take some time to get used to. So my advice to you is don't get discouraged. You know, when times get hard, they you can't let it you can't let let it get to you. You know, you just gotta keep on keep on pushing this morning was a little rough for me today and 
y'all couldn't really see everything, but it was starting to get to me a little bit. Just, just a little bit, you know. Started off this morning, started off good, but it's it's like I just want everything to just go smooth. Got the one load to do wasted my I, I the one load with the email. So I had the email. I got that load. And it was just a lot of, it was a lot of BS with that one. I hate dealing with the email loads because the email loads, you send an email, you're not gonna get a response back until five, six minutes, you know. So it's not quick as being on the phone. And I have my phone number as a signature, my in the signature in my emails. So every time I send an email, you know, my name and my phone number is there. So it's there for them to call, but they don't he just didn't want to call, I guess. But come to find out that um he asked that I do a credit check with my with my uh factoring company and I did a credit check with him and my factoring company don't want to work with him. Well I'm not right, let me not say they don't want to work with him. The way the factoring company works, you know, like I stated in the last video, I drop a load, I send the paperwork to my factory company, my factory company pays me, and then the factory company goes after the broker and gets their money back. But when their account is in the negatives with my factoring company, my factoring company will not pay me out until they get the money from the broker. Now, the broker can hold your money all the way up until 28, you know, 30 days, 40, it, the end. Whatever they got for that days to pay, they can hold it up to that last day and then they can send it out. So I could do this load. I could have did that load today, but I probably wouldn't have got paid until like next month. Uh, I ain't got time for that. No, I'm not doing that. But so after going back and forth with him over in a, almost an hour, you know, I just called that one quits and I just left that alone. So I was already agitated about that one. And then I book another load, you know, and that one is a little, just a little bit further away, probably a couple more minutes away than the last one. And when I get there, you know, they cancel the load. And I'm just like, come on, bro. Like, this, this can't be life right now, you know. But I got this load, so we here getting loaded. The light already turned red. They already rocked the trailer, so... It seems like it's going to be okay. Um, this load goes to a distribution center, a Walmart. So I'm hoping that once I get loaded here, I can shoot straight there. The appointment time is at 4. So I'm hoping that, you know, I, I get there early and they just take me in early. Don't make me actually wait till my appointment time because it's only 11 o'clock right now. It's going to take me probably about an hour to get there. So I will be there roughly between 1 and 2. So I must just hope that, you know, they take me early. But I just wanted to leave that message with you guys. You know, just you get out here, don't don't get discouraged, you know, because not everything is always going to work good for you, you know, and you just got to keep, keep pushing. Just keep, keep, keep pushing, keep moving. Don't let one little problem, you know, ruin your whole day. Just, just keep going. It will get hard at times, but trust me. It's definitely worth it to be out here and to have your own company. You know, it is definitely worth it. So just wanted to keep that. Just wanted to give that into y'all. And y'all keep that in your mind. Keep even with anything that you're doing. You know, don't give up. When times get hard, don't stop. You know, just keep going. Keep pushing. But let's continue with this video. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and keep on watching. All right, level up family. We loaded and we rolling. We headed to the distribution center of Walmart in Pottstown, PA. When I put the address in the GPS, it said that we were like an hour and a half away. Said that we were like an hour and a half away. Uh, so, but our point, our appointment is, our appointment is at four. GPS say that I'm gonna get there a little before two. So, just 
just gonna hold. Just gonna hope that they take us early and don't actually make us wait all the way until four. Yeah. Let y'all check out the scenery. But yeah, if we got a little less than an hour, we got 50 miles left, so just gonna keep on trucking and I cut y'all back on once we get to the delivery. How you doing, sir? Oh, wonderful. Oh, not really, but. Do I need my vest on the check in? What's that? Do I need the vest to check in? No, you're good. You know what? That's mainly for at night, man, because you can't fucking see shit up there at night. I'm telling you. Got you. And you know what? Even if I was coming here, I'd be like, oh, fuck them guys. I'd be like, eh, get up there, man. It don't look too fucking light out in the nighttime, let me tell you. Nah. Nah, Jeez. not at all. And I mean, I mean, even when we're going up there. Jeez, that's crazy. Okay, this is the deal. Ooh, that's hot stuff. Well, I'm going to give you the stuff to go up. Okay. Don't go in until like 2.30. 2.30? Yeah, go oh. up and park there and then go in at 2.30. Okay. If I call up now, they'll tell them not to come in. It's like a good guy in here. Okay. So just hang around for like, you know what I mean? If you get, if you get an antsy, fuck you, go in. Nah, but, uh, I can move no, no, the 2.30. No, no, they, they can't kick you out there. Because I already have the tickets, man. Okay. But, you know what I mean? This way, at least, they won't be fucking giving their... See, because they're fucked up. Like, uh, like, and then when the big loads come, yeah. like the ones that are a million cases, I'll keep, oh, them, keep them up here, you know what I mean? <laughs> for the next, for the next... Make that out when you get up there. Okay, Straight all right. ahead, park on the left before you hit the building. In the right hand corner, there's a blue over, a blue uh, awning. Just go in that door at 2 30, and they'll give you a door which is going to be right up there by you. My man, appreciate okay, it. Okay, man, sir. be good. All right, take Have care. Stay on the way out. Can't want these two things on. Okay, perfect. So far, so good. You say they don't take long here. Since I'm a little early for my appointment, he said just park on the left side, wait till 2 30 to go in. He's a pretty cool guy. I like that. Let me go. Uh, let's find some way to park. Level up, family. We finally empty. Finally. They called me to get on the door like around 2.30. That'd be trailer. They called me to get on the door around 2.30 and it is now 5.30. So three hours before unload. The crazy part is, so I got on the door at 3.30. Yeah, I said 2.30, I'm sorry y'all. I got on the door at 3.30, because the appointment was at four, so they called me like a half an hour right before the appointment time. So I got on the door at 3.30, and I was done, well, not I, they were done unloading the trailer by, by four o'clock. And I sat all the way from 4 to 5.30, waiting for the paperwork. Why the paperwork takes so long here, I don't know. But let's just say that I put this place on my don't return list. My don't return list is getting real long right now. But I put the address in the GPS. It's 5.30. Uh, I'm two and a half hours away from home. I'm not going to get home until 8. So that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys like this video. You know, like I tell you in every other video, if it's something that you want to see, just let me know. Just let me know and I'll try my best to put it in the video for you. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, you know, Please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you can be notified every time a new video is uploaded. All right. 
I'll catch y'all the next video. And y'all stay safe out there.